Hello, Leo friends. Welcome. That's Tara, my love. And uh, let me just fix this a little bit because it's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> All right. Virgo rising. So, this is for mid August, mid month August. Um, using the um, Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. I hope you can see them. Uh, doing this in the evening at sunset. Um, it's a beautiful evening. Thank God's quiet for a minute. Let's hope that holds long enough for your reading here, guys. So, mid-August, uh, this is for whoever's on your mind, uh, the one that's in your heart is going to pick up on. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be the one you're with, but let's, yeah, maybe, hopefully it is, you know. Let's see here. So, Asking spirit, name of light, love, give us some guidance in this mid-August reading for Leo. Everything happening in Leo. It is Leo season extraordinaire. But if uh, please follow the, um, or at least check it out, uh, the Soul Tribe reading I've been doing. I mean, I'd go even back to the last weekend's read, this weekend's read. Um, it's been kind of an interesting journey. That's just collective reading for whoever resonates. See if you're part of Soul Tribe. If you, if you resonate with this, you, you very well might be. And uh, it's been incredible. So I'm sure that'll be hitting you guys. Mm, okay, Leos. This is you. In and around relationship where your mind is at, where your heart is at. Five of Swords. Let me look at your person. Where we go there. Knight of Swords. Your person, where their mind is at, where their heart is at. This is now a Knight of Swords energy for them. That's pretty good energy to come into a relationship with them. They could be carrying a little bit of a chip on the shoulder, the Knight of uh, Swords. Uh, it could just be an air sign that's particularly aggressive. Um, first house, sun or something, it's an uh, air sign. Some of them rising or Venus too. Um, this would be more like Mars energy here. Definitely look for Mars in, in air with your person. Um, uh, but they're down and they're going to be honest and they're going to be direct now you're kind of this is very contemplated by the swords so this is internal um, you're not uh, arguing with someone else in these positions I like to see you just kind of as you are on your own and uh, number two and number uh, number three and number four positions will look at how you are responding to your partner um, but you're thinking about uh, something. It's like, hmm, did I win? Did I lose? Uh, it could be a lot of thoughts going on in your head still about probably the past relationship. You know, uh, they did this and they said that, and I should have said this and I should have said that, and maybe stuff like that. Um, a bit agitated. Um, so my guess is probably they're the one, uh, Leo, that came in, came to you this knight of swords very aggressive energy they might have come in you know fast and hot and heavy uh, verbally showing a sincere and a immediate interest in your presence page of wands this is you responding to them this is actually kind of nice you know if you're in this energy it doesn't mean you're out of the game i mean a lot of us are in that energy just kind of wondering it's like you know anybody get the truck uh, the license plate number of the truck that hit me because I didn't, you know. And, but now once you're in the relationship and you're responding to this very aggressive energy, right? Um, you're responding with the Page of Wands. That's a little bit of fire there, a little bit of, a, you know, a sexual interest. Uh, they're, you're into them, you know, if you're cross-watching. Yeah, Leo's into you. You know, and um, this is a Page of Wands, could be, could be Leo. So I would say, like, uh, in terms of how they make you feel, it's very appropriate. It's probably a new relationship. Oh, nice. It's okay. It's okay, boo-boo. Now, how, they're, how do they, woo-hoo, how do they make you feel? <laughs> how do you make them feel? Uh, how are they reacting to you? Well, look at the difference. <laughs> page of cup, uh, page of wands, and the king of wands. And this is good, though, guys. Very, very good. walking the dog in Mexico it's not uh, not really a dog fight but they're just doing their jobs right so now um, you're kind of looking away from the reading you know look how this kind of this guy's contemplative 
And this, you know, here you are on this page of wands, you're supposed to be delivering a message. You're just kind of standing there staring off into, uh, you know, the, the scenery there, admiring the scenery. Um, now your person here, man, how much more directed are they? You know, look at them coming right at you, and now with the King of Wands. There's nobody in the deck's going to take more assertive action than the King of Wands. And that's uh, responding to you. Um, and they very well, you know, you see the lion's head thrown. So it could be bringing in this uh, um, possibly uh, Leo energy. Um, but I think it's more about just a very strong interest in you. Uh, when they said they were interested in you, <laughs> They were interested in you, uh, Leo. Uh, and they could be a little bit older than you, a little more substantial would be my guess. You might be a little bit younger. You might be a little bit unsure of yourself here with this page of wands. You know, you're just like, uh, this is kind of like, you're telling them, oh, I don't know, you know, but inside you're like, they're pretty hot, they're pretty sexy, pretty dynamic, but I don't know if I'm ready for that because, you know, you maybe kind of got a feeling here, Leo, that you go out on a date, it's going to be like more than just a date, okay? <laughs> we don't want to do from the bottom. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so Queen of Wands. Wow, okay. <laughs> this is very clear. This is a position of advice to you, Leo, in the relationship with this particular person. And Crosswatcher, you got them. Because <laughs> they want you to level up and meet their King of Wands energy. Okay, and the, the Queen of Wands is coming over what? The Page of Wands. So this is you, how you're feeling, your ego self. This is the advice from your higher self, from spirit. Go ahead and let, let this catch fire. Let this Page of Wands catch fire and let's get, let's get this party going. Because <laughs> now you have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Wow, and that definitely like speaking to you. You are the Queen of Wands, okay? This is the position of your person, so you're not the king of wands. Male, female, doesn't matter, but wow. Let's see their advice. And their advice is the knight of wands. This is kind of fascinating to me. They're in, look at all the wands, guys. I was telling someone the other day, God didn't give us penises and vaginas because he didn't want us to have sex. I mean... God's not confused like we get, okay? Very, very simple, okay? There's a lot of sex here, and it's being approved. Um, um, this is interesting for your person, and if you're cross-watching, I hope that you are. Leo likes this energy. This is a very aggressive energy. But being that it's the King of Wands over the Knight of Wands, this is your advice. It's to take it down just a notch. And I think it's like, give the Leo some. It's like, the, your person's coming on so hard and so hot, and you like it, but it's like, I think they need to just maybe tone it down a tad. You know, cross-watcher Leos like to be the center of attention, you know? They want to be the ringmaster, okay? Um, so, um, I think that's kind of what that's saying. But man, you guys are all kind of interested in each other here. I mean, the, kid, the Queen of Wands to the Knight of Wands is fantastic energy, fantastic. The Page of Wands to the King of Wands is really nice energy, too. Okay, that's how I'm comparing these, you know, the, this position to this, this to this. We're looking good. Now, this is advice for the relationship as a whole. Look at these wands. You guys are lighting up here, uh, Ten of Wands. So, being that there's advice, um, that kind of goes with the, your person being asked to tone it down a notch here um, it might be too much <laughs> hola <laughs> so there might be just too much for you guys because this is advice from spirit now and this is kind of ending a cycle I think this is about putting down kind of drama let me get a clarifier on that one king of Pentacles kind of clarify with the king of Pentacles yeah uh, bringing in some stability and because this is coming on like a like a like an affair, this is that what the energy is is like here, um, and it might just be kind of too much. Like literally, with this ten of wands, it's trying to tell you, you know, and with the king of pentacles clarifying it, you need to get grounded, um, and because 
Uh, this could be just not getting enough sleep. I mean, you guys are staying up fucking all the time. I don't know. Just you can't leave each other alone, man. You know, uh, on the phone, if you're not together, maybe you're on the phone talking. And, um, and this is getting the relationship ground. So this is really good. I see this as a spirit's kind of a, has an interest in your relationship here. Because um, they're giving you advice that you would need to make the relationship work. So spirit, let's get an outcome here for our Leos. Mid-month August, our heart spread, guys. Man, I've never seen so much passion. I mean, it, 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 the Ten of Wands is like, you know, it, it's got a summer romance flair to it. And uh, if you expect this to last, you're going to have to ground it out here. And um, But um, let's see what the outcome is. Okay. <laughs> Eight of Wands. This is fine. Now, you're taking the Ten of Wands energy, which is too much, and you're grounding it out. And now what you get is this is fan this Eight of Wands is always fantastic energy. And look at it coming between the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. <laughs> this is uh, uh, the Page of Wands and the King of Wands. This is uh, you kind of transmuting this energy into really powerful, uh, passionate energy, being able to move forward. I mean, people are going to see you as, this is a Leo couple. I mean, you, you could both be Leos. You could be dealing with another Leo. It's kind of a feeling I got here, like two Leos. This is why there's an energy of too much here. So it's just toning it down and bringing it to balance and grounding it out. And then you end up being this, you're the kind of couple, you know, Leos, particularly Leo women, man, they can walk into a room and just light up a room. It's, it's no joke. But holy shit, now you guys together, I mean, you're going to light, you're going to really light, you'll light up the theater, you'll light up the neighborhood uh, with this uh, kind of uh, very positive uh, relationship. And I think you guys just bring all kind of energy to each other. So it just needs to settle down a little bit before you break a bone uh, or just uh, die from exhaustion because you can't leave each other alone to sleep. <laughs> There's worse things. Thank you, guys.